All right, my people, what's up? This your boy, Hood. You self two times, self-made ology. I got a lot of brands, Hood, the filmmaker. What's popping with y'all? I got to talk to y'all today about a dope movie I just saw, and I enjoyed it. It was super, super dope, super funny. The Blackening. And it's directed by Tim Story. I know you know who Tim Story is. You probably heard of him as a film artist. He one of the best. He made Fantastic Four, Barbershop. He did a lot of movies, and he's accepted by the white folks. So that's also dope because he's basically done some hood movies and he done some Hollywood movies, you know what I'm saying, where they basically put up a big old budget behind it. But this movie Pacific, man, it was one of the dopest movies I saw in a long time because it was so funny and it was so poignant. Like it hit all the points that black people already talk about. Us as black people, the stuff that we kind of jab about or crack jokes about or just hang out about. He talked about all that shit in this movie. It was really dope. And it had a bunch of like actors and stuff that's like really known on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like that particular creatives and shit like that. So I was really just liking it, man. I really enjoyed it. Lionsgate produced it and they put a lot of money behind it. It was not low budget at all. I mean, it probably was low budget compared to a Fantastic Four movie, but for them to actually have this movie produced and put out, it's six or seven actors. I'm, I'm really not familiar with none of these guys and girls who played in it, but I am uh, happy for the, all of them getting their start, you know what I'm saying, and getting in these movies and shit like that to uh, open up the opportunities for them because uh, I want to say some of their names to y'all real quick. So... I know one of his name is Melvin Craig. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's the young bro from uh, the internet. That's like really famous and shit out there. And that's one of the dope things about it. The internet has allowed people to really get out there and talk their shit and, and put their skills together. So it's not always having to go meet these somebodies or some whoever's to get you there. You know what I'm saying? You can actually make it. It seemed like this movie was made in 2022, it said. But this is 2023 when it's dropping. So that was just different for me. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to know who the writers was, too, because I, I never seen... Oh, Tracy Oliver wrote this. Okay, I never seen her before. But she wrote Girls Trip. And that movie Little with that young black actress in it. And First Wives Club, she's a writer too. So she got her, she got some skills. She got some skills. But this movie was Duke Survivors with Morris. TV story. She been writing. She been writing. So this one is this one is up her man. She she snapped with this one. Dwayne Perkins. Oh, that's the gay dude who played in this movie. Okay, so he's a comedian writer. Well, I don't know if he's really gay. Probably is, but uh, but he uh, wrote, he's working with Peacock. Okay, so bro been writing. And he wrote uh, the Upshaws, Saved by the Bell, the Amber Reference show. He wrote for that. Oh, okay, so he is good because that show is funny and a bitch. The Amber Reference show is funny and a motherfucker. All right, so now we know who the writers are. So this dude actually played in the movie. He wanted the leads to... Uh, that that kid right there was uh, Grace Briers is the main lady, Melvin Gregg. Okay, that is that dude from the internet, Dwayne Perkins, Sinque Walls. Well, okay, Jay Farrell was the main, you know, uh, star name, and what's the other lady name that was in it? Yvonne Orgy. Those are the people that got rid of like major names that I've seen. Now the rest of these people could be internet people. Clip Jermaine Fowler. Uh, I don't. I've seen his face before, but I don't know exactly what I saw him in. Antoinette Robertson, she's she's one of the prettiest women. Let me look her up. She is up. Whoo, that girl beautiful, man. She is beautiful. It's like beautiful. I mean, you gotta see her in this movie. She one of the main main characters too, but she is extremely fine. And she did a bunch of stuff too, so she working. Okay, FBI most wanted. She did an episode on that. Everybody be working, man. So I just wanted to give y'all the up, update. So they go to this house. They had a house at this house. They uh, basically run into some crazy Airbnb people. And it's like they uh, got, you know, different rooms and shit like that that they have to go in and out of. I'm trying not to get a whole story away, but 
as they go in the rooms, there's different stuff that happen that can lead to their death. They, it's just a lot of wild shit. And it's crazy because this, but that's not even so much the story that I like so much. It's the content of the story, like what they use to crack the jokes. They use a lot of black <coughs> analogies uh, and funny stuff that we know to be true as black people that we talk about on our own. They even joked about gayness. They joked about having a white uh, parent, having being an African, you know what I'm saying, like being a gangster, you know, black dudes. So I, when I tell you the jokes are so funny, they so perfectly placed and it's just like a good movie when you see it you're gonna die laughing i was so locked into the jokes and comedy i was following the story and the story is really good too so as you weaving through it they just keep you so connected to their experience with the jokes that they use and because it's all in line with the storyline that they that they find themselves in which is being at an airbnb with some crazy people uh, and, uh, and and it's dope. So it's almost like a ten year reunion that they coming together. I guess from high school or college. I think it's more like college, and they getting together again. And so, but it's really good because it's just really funny. And I liked how a lot of the stereotype or jokes that they talked about in our culture as blacks is never talked about. Like you can't watch nothing on TV, the internet, cable. If that still exists, you can't watch nothing on that stuff and see this kind of comedy, these kind of jokes being talked about, these kind of jokes being used. You, you're not going to find it. It's not out there because as a person that loves comedy and loves to watch this kind of stuff, I've been searching forever to try to find jokes and people that's funny like these guys were and all that. And I don't know. It, see, it To me, a lot of times it didn't seem like it was written. And I was like, how did the... You know, because especially a person that talks like me, that knows the vernacular and know the dialect, I'm like, how how did they did they let the actors like freestyle some of this? Because this shit don't even seem written. But that's why I was you know I was interested in seeing who the writer was because I'm like, how the hell did they have those actors say all this shit and these people knew how to say it? Now, I know that we all know how to talk and it seemed believable, especially if you're from the same culture, you can understand more the believability of what they're saying. But to me, a lot of the times it seems so, so real and so so comfortable and so normal, so regular, that it was perfectly placed. And it was like this exactly where that joke or that point would have been made. You know what I'm saying? Had to, I see the seem real, like I would have did that. I would have said that or something like that. Seemed like that could actually happen if I was in that scenario. So it's just really funny, and they and they tap into a lot of the uh, stereotypes and comedy. Or oh, I'm sorry, not comedy, but horror. So, you know, a lot of stuff like meet up together. And, and, but, you know, another thing is so funny about this movie, because it, it, for me, as a, I, I got, I'm a parent and I got a kid that's like 20, 21. And I'm not familiar with the drugs of today, but I was getting to I was having to get familiar with uh, a new drug called Adderall. Like I had never really heard of that. And I think I did hear of it a long time ago. I mean, I mean, I'm, when I tell you a long time, I'm talking about like the 90s. Like, I think um, a movie called Last Boy Scout, it was Damon Wayans and, uh, what's his name? Bruce Willis. And it was directed by Tony Scott. And they basically was in a movie called, uh, <clears throat> Ben, whatever, I, I may have just said the name a minute ago, Last Boy Scout, Last Boy Scout. So in this movie, when it first came on, the football player was in the movie. And I think he called the owner or some shit like that. was mad. He said, man, something messing with my head, man. Blah, blah, blah. And the guy was like, uh, uh, just go play. So when he got on the court, on a, I'm sorry, on the football field, he caught the ball. It was a night game. And he ran it in. Boom. And he got the touchdown. Then he got on one knee. He pulled out a gun out of his satchel or his waist. And he shot it. No, no, I think that's what he said. Yeah, you know, he shot himself in the head. And then uh, when when uh, Bruce Willis caught up with with uh, with uh, uh, Bruce Willis caught up with uh, what's his name Damon Wayans, they was talking. And he said that he think that the guy was off of Adderall. I think that's the word that he used. I, I, that's the first time I had heard something like that. So I, I had never really heard that word before. So now in my latter years and you hearing it and it's like Adderall, what the fuck is it? And you hear so many people talk about it. It's about studying, it's about college and all this shit. Okay, if that's what you say. So in this particular movie, they actually talk about Adderall. They actually 
this is what they getting high off of and shit like that. It's like a fun thing. So it, it's like something I'm just really getting to learn because this is a new era. And um, <clears throat> I was even saying to myself, like, damn, I've never seen a horror movie when the group get together at the new place that they're going to be at before all the killing start and they don't smoke some weed. So they didn't smoke weed. They used Adderall. So it's like it's it's like a di dynamic change in horror films and shit like that. This movie was trying to press upon, and uh, things like that. But you know, so it's just little small stereotypes that they had to click into to kick this movie funny, and it was really funny. And if you in a horror, if you in the comedy, if you into black comedy, when I tell you this is probably the best movie you're gonna see in 2023. So far, I think this is the best comical movie I've seen in 2023 it's good it's like it's up there tim's story is dope and, and and he directed this i'm glad he took the uh helm and he made sure that he got this one done because it's done right and i it's nobody that's gonna not watch this movie and laugh a lot of people probably even know some of the stereotypes that they tap into not that they stop into the stereotypes to try to you know smack them around and make them disrespectful it, it's funny it's comical it's it's it's, it's, it's loose it's light it's not uh, demeaning or degrading to nobody's one specific area. But you will be laughing. You will have fun. You will be, man, you're going to be in tears, man. So I, I, that's all I got to say about this movie. I want you to go check it out. The Blackening is super funny. This movie is going to have you dying laughing. I'm not kidding you. I can't even make it like I'm making you believe it. I just I know at some point you're going to get a chance to see it. I think this is going to be like starting a new trend in filmmaking. You're going to see more movies with more believable comedy in it, where it's going to be comedy that is actually something you can believe is something that's happening, not just ha, ha, ha. And did that happen? Could that happen? It's going to be, this is like a real touch, not, not, not far-fetched comedy. This is like really exact comedy. I think it's real good. So that's all I got. Peace. Holla at your boy. Thanks. And like and subscribe. And I'll see you in a minute.